inside the cab of a 1990 Ford F-150 with a 5 liter V8. As you can see in front of us, you're looking at the gas gauge, okay? And that gas gauge right now is turned on, all right? It is turned on to the rear tank of the vehicle. So we'll turn the key on just to make sure you can see for yourself. It's at the rear tank of the vehicle. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch to the front tank, which is completely empty. It's bone dry, and you'll see that right now. We switched it over by using the switch down there to the front tank, and as you see, it is on dead empty. Now what we're going to do is go over here, and here's the switch that turns the hydrogen or the supergen on that's installed in the truck. As you see, it's on, and next to it, there is an amp meter right next to it. And now, with the gas tank empty, as you can see it, we're going to start the vehicle. There we go. We started it up. All right, now, excuse the mess in my truck, okay, because I'm a working stiff like everybody else. Here we go, we'll go outside now and we'll take a look at the engine itself and the installation of the MagDrive Supergen. Here we go. Keeping the camera going so you know there's no games and no tricks going on here. Here we go, we're coming around now. This is the MagDrive Supergen right here. As you can see, that's the fill and view port and as in one of the earlier videos, you can see here, this is for the automatic level sensor, which would turn a light on on the dashboard. I haven't installed it yet. In the manual mode, it would give you a low warning light for your fluids. And, of course, if it was in the auto mode, there would be a pump with a three-gallon reservoir behind the seat. So this light would then go on. It would turn on a pump. It would fill it back up. This would then, with the sensor in here, would turn the light off because it was full and the pump would shut off, and you wouldn't have to go in here and manually fill it up by hand. This is the outlet right here. This is where the hydrogen, oxygen, gas goes, the HHO. As in all the other movies, it's the same setup. Here it is right here. It splits at a T. This side goes in. When you're stepping on the accelerator, it goes in this way, splits, goes in and then follows along and the tubes end right there just in front of the throttle body valve. Now when we go back to the split again, this side right here is for idling, for cruising, and deacceleration. It goes directly in this way. That has about 17 inches of vacuum in this line right now. But if I step on the gas, what happens, this safety valve will close this safety valve will open and the gas will then go this way instead of going that way like it currently is. If we could get a better look, there's a little bit of water in the line here, some condensate. It's very difficult to see. I wish I could uh, get it clear, but you can see the gas going through and bubbling through and pulling the condensate. If you look over here on this side, there's some bubbles here too where the safety valve is where it got left right in here there's some foamy bubbles from condensate I wish you could see them but uh, this is not the best camera in the world and I'm not the best photographer and of course here is the safety flashback valve here so you have one here flashback one here and one over there so you're protected three ways and of course as you can see it's all stainless steel there it is down there is your anode and here's the ground wire to your cathode, which comes out the bottom. You'll be able to see that. And, of course, there again is the automatic level sensor switch. And let me see. These are the brackets I made up right here. And they're used, of course, to mount the unit. It hangs here. It suspends on these brackets. As you can see, I put a tab on this one and welded it because the radiator cap was in the way. So I put it on an angle and brought it over here. But, of course, this one goes straight over, and it bolts right into the top studs. So you can hang it off the firewall, the inside of the fender well, the front uh, clip, anywhere you want to do it. And, of course, like I say, there's the ground. And here's the power. It goes in. You saw the switch. And the switch gets it power. 
from over here on this line, which has a 30 amp circuit breaker in it. So this here is the Super Gen model. Let me see if I can focus in on it a little bit more. You can see it closer. And that's what it looks like in a close-up view. And to give you a whole engine compartment view where it's at, we'll go out to there. So this is a Super Gen, and right now we are running on hydrogen. You saw the tank that was in the back tank that was about a little less than a quarter of a tank, and in the front tank was bone dry on the gas gauge. I flipped to the front tank, started it up, and it's been running ever since on the hydrogen. Now I'll hit the throttle right now. And you can see that's it. If you were here, you could actually put your hands in front of the exhaust and they'd be wet. The condensate coming out the back. But that's it. That's the MagDrive Supergen. Hope you enjoyed it. Have yourself a good day and thank you. Bye-bye.